So I've brought the tractor up into the north woods today to try and bring down some of these hanging snags. This one, I believe, happened just the other day in the windstorm we had. So you could try and cut this off with a chainsaw, section by section, and bring it down. I thought an easier, safer way might be just simply to attach a chain to it with the tractor and pull it off. It will create some gouging in the ground, but hopefully it won't be too severe and I'll just pull it off, flatten it out, and then come out later with the chainsaw and cut it up. And I may go and do this with a couple others too, depending how easy they look to tackle. So I'm gonna be using this chain, which has one large slip hook and a smaller grab hook. I'll attach this to the draw bar on the tractor, the grab hook, and then the slip hook I'll put around the tree trunk and it will grab tightly to the position I put it on the tree trunk once it's tensioned a bit. And then I attach the grab hook section to this draw bar hook that I have. So this tree is a leaning beach another dead beach from the birch bark or beech bark disease going over there to a broken stump we're just going to attach the chain here up beyond this branch if it'll reach with the slip knot or the slip hook and then we'll try and drag it off the old stump back here This one I really wanted to get down because it was leaning heavily into an adjacent hemlock and every time the wind came from the west it would fall down a little bit more and press heavier against the hemlock, pressing the hemlock further out. In addition to the danger they pose on the trails. Here I am back to the first tree that I showed in this video and we tried and tried and tried from different angles, different speeds and approaches and somehow this broken tree trunk just managed to hang on to the remaining side branch on this uh, beech tree stump. It was amazing how it just hung on and the tractor would just stop dead in its tracks no matter what angle I pulled from. Now, the best angle I could have pulled from would be heading the opposite way to which I'm going here, but obviously that would have been too risky because I would have had the tree fall on my head. So I had to pull it in generally this direction. Uh, I, I altered it by about 45 degrees a number of times but uh, as you can see right here. it was a stubborn old Come this way. trunk Stay that, over that way. in the end we had to give up on this one 
and probably what it just requires is a, a little severing where it attaches to the tree with a saw and then it would come off easy or just simply cut it off entirely with a saw but uh, I'd want to stay away from it to a degree I'll probably use a pole saw just a hand drawn saw with a long pole on it just to make sure I'm away from it because there's a lot of back pressure on this tree trunk from the way it's wedged into the opposite tree on the other side of the trail.